Hey guys, what is going on is Ando and I just got done recording like a 40 minute long video that was supposed to be like a podcast form of this and then I decided, you know what, no one wants to hear that stuff. So we're going to make this shorter. We're going to just go into the pertinent stuff that uh, I think that you guys probably want to talk about. So we're going to cut out a lot of things. Um, I know I haven't made a video in a while, but I'm sure most of you guys have watched all the videos that have led up to here. So we're going to really talk about what I think is everyone, what's on everyone's mind, which was basically this episode one, the track rewards plus our shipments and all that other stuff. So uh, I came up with some maths um, that I think we should look at. Um, so essentially what I did was I just kind of went through all of the things that we are going to be getting. I didn't go through the, uh, pass at all, but, um, I went through all the stores and stuff like that. And I kind of copied and pasted it and referenced it inside the spreadsheet. So let's go take a look. The other thing I, I should also say is, um, we, we got, Oh, let's, let's see, where is it at? So, this is what I'm going off of, right? Um, so if the galactic, I don't normally look at these. I just normally collect them and then I say, cool. Um, if for whatever reason this changed dramatically, which I don't think it does, but that would affect the numbers as well. Um, so yeah, so let's, let's take a look at these numbers really quick. So like I said, over here on this side, um, you can see I've, uh, other than where my face blocks us, um, you can see where I've basically listed out the store, um, what the quantity of the thing was. And I know a lot of these are redundant, um, but I just, it was easy for simplicity's sake to just copy and paste and then list the price of what the episode currency was. And then basically what the episode currency per unit was as well. I did that with the material types that we get, uh, just one character because they were all the same. Um, and then our mod material that we get, uh, as well as our gears down here. Now, what I also have is, is separated out into the current and the new track or our current and like our new, you know, proposed thing that was given to us. And it's only the free track, like I said before. So, um, in one galactic challenge, right, we would get all these different things, right? Credits, ship credits, core gear, purple gear, uh, gear 12 gear, gear 12 plus gear, shards, omegas, uh, all the mod slicing materials, kairos, finishers, and the omicron, right? So that was all underneath for one GC. So we get eight galactic challenges per month. So I just basically took these cells and I multiplied them by eight and went all the way down so that you could see, you know, the most important ones, I think, right? Like you get 16 Omicrons and 40 Kairos, right? Like those are everyone's, you know, always like, ah, oh, those don't touch those. <laughs> um, so then what I ended up doing is I tabulated what that was in a currency form, right? So episode tabulating these all into a currency form makes it easier for us. So then we can just sit there and be like from a currency monetary value, which one is giving us more, right? Um, so for the currency, right, what we ended up doing was we just referenced what our eight galactic challenges per month gave us multiplied by, right, what that was per unit. So when we scored 240 shards, um, you know, of character shards, what that essentially is, is, you know, and you multiplied it by 125, that's essentially 30,000 credits that we would need to have so we could spend it on that. All right, so, and I just did that all the way down. And as you can see, our total here ended up being 208, 208,520, right? So that's what we have equivalent in our episode currency. I didn't include credits, ship credits, core gear, purple gear, gear plus or gear 12 gear or gear 12 plus gear. Um, <clears throat> mostly because I was being lazy. I'll be honest. The other reason though, actually though, is, um, just right off the bat, <clears throat> you can actually see that we're going to get more. They're, they've actually increased the boxes more. Um, and they're like for like items. So I felt like that was a fair, you know, like thing to just be like, Hey, let's just ignore these then. Um, so I don't have to sit there and tabulate it out. 
and it seems like in this new way we're getting get objectively more so uh let's just kind of yeah ignore it um so yeah then let's go over to the new way that we're going to be earning stuff which is they're going to give us just right off the bat 41,000 of our episode currency um and then like i said i kind of omitted all the core gear and stuff like that there was no credits or ship credits um, and then, yeah, basically just went through all the mod slicing, Kairos, Finisher, and Omicron. Um, and yeah, again, we only score this in one episode. An episode takes about a month. Um, and then here is our currency value that we get associated. And again, just referencing the table to uh, what we currently have. Um, so... At the end of the day, right, we end up with 187, 920 um, of our episode currency. So we are less than this. Now, here's the caveat. It's before we, we bring out our anger and say like, whoa, we're getting screwed here. Remember, there's a few things that we want to talk about. We did omit this and we've already kind of said like, hey, in all actuality, it does seem like we're going to get more of the gear. Therefore, like this value probably bumps up a little bit. But let's just, again, ignore that. Let's just say like we really want a reason to be angry. Now, here's where I think like this is, you know, agency and picking something, player agency and being able to pick something. It comes at a cost, right? And things should come at a cost if we get that agency to do so. So I came up with some numbers. I have to say, though, there is a big, big assumption in here. And that is that they already said that the, the, these stores refresh weekly. Um, but as you can see here, right, like everyone I know is going to be wondering, like, hey, how many Kyrotech can I get? So they don't show us what the store is. They don't show us how many of these are. So like it would suck really, really bad if you can only get two or, you know, I guess essentially four Chirotech, right? Per week. Um, that's just not going to cut it. But in actuality, if we were to just say like, hey, we got 41,000 uh, of this currency, you could just buy 234 of the Chirotech. Again, just assuming that the stores cooperate and there's enough, there's either enough nodes or like the nodes maybe for gear refreshes a little bit earlier. I don't know. Um, but in, a, in math terms, we could do that, right? Um, like I said, I don't know if they have some sort of limit placed on us. Um, now, the big one that I want to show is that, yes, we did get less Chirotex here, right? And we did get less Omicrons. Um, but again, I've showed you that like this is solved a little bit right here. If we just straight up purchase with them, like it solves it a lot bit because um, you get, you know, quite a bit in excess. But the big thing is, OK, most people are, I don't think are going to want to feel like they are losing that many Omicrons 12 per month. So in order to pay for that, you need 19,200 of your episode one or your episode currency. Right. Um, and if you take this 19,000 and you subtract it by this 41,000 and then you divide it by how many Chirotech, you know, per per unit or uh, episode currency to purchase the two Chirotech per unit, you could actually purchase that 124 times. So or sorry, you could purchase 124 Chirotech um, because I've already equated out what it is per one. So. In a perfect world, right? Like this is what agency bought us. Like while we did lose, you know, roughly, I what is that? Thirteen, you know, maybe a little bit, like twenty three thousand um, currency. What we got was we got the ability to say, like, hey, I don't need, you know, I don't need Night Sister shards, right? Um, or you know, specifically in this one, I think it's Inquisitors. I don't need Inquisitor shards personally, so. That 30,000 is going to go straight into Chirotech, right? That's what I need. Or, hey, I don't need, um, you know, certain things. Like, I don't want any more of the uh, mod slicing. So it's going to go towards Omicrons. So 
that's again like the price and the 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 what you have to give up to get certain things right to come through now again i will be severely disappointed if like i said by the end of this we just find out that all we could do was purchase uh four omicrons for like 700 of the currency and we now have to figure out what we're going to do with the rest of you know the the 20,000 odd currency that we're like, oh, well, what do, what do we do now, right? Um, so just want to say like, if the, if the store refreshing or if the nodes on the store just don't cooperate, this will also you know affect like how good of a deal this agency truly is. So, that's the numbers. Like I said, you know, I think this is the part that everyone wants to know. Um, and, you know, maybe my math is wrong. It's super late here, but I'm pretty sure that like uh, everything else checked out. Um, but yeah, hopefully that you guys find that a little bit helpful. So there's a few more things I want to go over just because um, I just want people to be aware, right? I, I'm not going to go over everything that I went over the first time because I, I realized like it's just too much and like I said, some of the stuff I'm coming at it days, days old. So uh, I do want to talk about character and scheduling. So sorry, guys, I've been sick. So yeah, my voice is going to cut out a little bit. Um, <clears throat> so. All right, so they, they, they've decided to give us this new scheduling and I'm going to use new in quotes here because this is what it's been since I've been playing this game and there's been ebbs and flow with it sometimes it's more rigid sometimes it's more free flowing um but for the last i'd say at least six months like mostly this year in 2024 this is what they've been running with um and we've kind of all become accustomed to it but it's in, in saying that i also want to say it's nice that they have come forward and elaborated this and you know put it out into text so that way we now know what we can plan for and that's why i want to talk about it because it is a huge planning consideration in the future um so me had militia made this really uh good graphic <laughs> and i'm just saying that as like a joke like <laughs> i don't i'm not saying that in any sort of negative way towards him it's just hilarious like it's just like it looks like he did it on maybe like PowerPoint or something. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the big thing is, is right. So before we used to say eras or we used to say quarters, right? Because they always release things in quarters. Those are now eras. We used to just say like, you know, what's happening this month, like in a, you know, in a state of the galaxy or something like that, right? That is a now an episode. Um, and here's the part that I want to talk to you guys mostly about right so they 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 break it down and they break it down a little bit more nuanced than that too right eras is just under three months or more specifically uh exactly 12 weeks and each era is broken up into three episodes each lasting exactly four weeks or 28 days so here's the part that i want to talk about an episode's content art is thematic to the specific to the specific unit or units acquired during the episode there will always be a new marquee. This is again, I want to highlight this. There will always be a new marquee unit release to start each episode. So we know that there's going to be 12 episodes. That means that CG, it, with this post, with like very direct words always, um, is telling us there's going to be at least 12 marquees per year. Um, now let's continue reading on with most episodes containing a second marquee release midway through the episode. So again, most, most being that if we have 12 episodes, it's going to be at least six, right? That are good. That's going to be how we get it, you know, at, you know, with most, if we, if we're taking direct like meaning, right, it means seven, six or more, right? Um, so let's just go with the conservative estimate here, six. So six is, for six months, we're going to have two marquees. That's already 12. The other six months, we will get our six marquees. That means that we will be releasing 18 marquees per year. Now, if you backdate this to this year, we have had 
19 marquees release and that is including the comeuppance which was a galactic chase so realistically that seems like a very realistic pace that they have already kept up with and that they probably seem like they're going to keep up with because let's face it people spend money on marquees right like that's they make money on that and if they make money that means that they're going to keep doing it so just know that while everyone might like i'd say the general sentiment was this year was crazy this year was breakneck speeds on character development and squad development and all the things right like it felt like you know a lot of times we were making videos that were saying hey like it's it's hard to keep up it's hard to keep up you know all these other things just understand that this is the pace of the game now right like, and they are kind of coming out and saying like we are committing to this pace right so it's either a plus or minus right like i don't know how you guys want to see it i'm just trying to provide you guys with that information so you guys don't over invest in something or just be like when's the you know the end of this craziness of this crazy period that we've got right so um yeah that kind of covers the, most of that uh but here at the end right so again i just want to delineate right that was 18 marquees um so at the end of each era right again or the end of each quarter they intend to provide a new event or journey guide level unit to pursue using all the units you've worked to acquire through the era so again if you look back on this year, right, uh, technically Bo-Katan Mandalore was the end of last year. So, I, I mean, I'm, I'm struggling to remember, but I think it was Jar Jar first. And then we had um, uh, Balin just recently, and we'll have Ahsoka, uh, GL Ahsoka. So there's only been three units this year, I think. I feel like I'm missing a fourth, but um, yeah, three units so far. And, you know, those are the, what we were building up to. So you have those units on top of that. So, you know, again, if we looked at this year, right, there's 18 marquees-ish. There was three additional, right, like of the legendaries or epic confrontation or galactic legend. So now there's three more characters that you need to have. The Chirotech, the Zetas, the, all the things that we were short on before. Uh, Omicrons, all that good stuff. And then... On top of that, which they've kind of already like hinted at, but I guess it's in a further section, which is conquest. Now, conquest they said won't be tied necessarily to the themes, um, like these arcs were for the episodes and the eras. However, they might also like they're not planning to go. They they plan on being like one-off characters that they you know make that are really really strong and all that other good stuff. So. The other thing that I kind of want to just touch on, which uh, I'm sure everyone knows, we're getting Huyang and we're getting um, General Sindula here. Um, all this makes sense because we're going to basically be getting uh, our Galactic Legend Ahsoka Tano um, during the holidays, essentially, right? They, they leave about mid-December and they don't come back until about um, mid-January. So they've already given us the next era, which is... Um, the Bad Batch squad. It's a mercenary squad, and I'm guessing it's going to lead up to a legendary mercenary Asajj or something like that, right? Like, so all this stuff, I just want you to think about this. When it comes to investing in a character or investing in a team or investing in an era or an episode, just remember that we have more episodes and all that other stuff coming in after that, right? So... Um, yeah, just, just be aware, right guys? Like that's, that's the biggest thing as, as long as you, you're aware, then you can make a plan. As long as you make a plan and follow through with it, it shouldn't be too much. So speaking of conquests and characters, I have to say guys, we are, I actually called this in my discord, uh, was pretty crazy, um, that we, <laughs> we got this right, but I said there's going to be a Sith, uh, Ray. And um, she's going to be the Conquest Lifter for SLKR. And I want to say, like, I know a lot of people said Snoke, um, but, and I don't know if they're going for this, but I will say, for lack of a better term, like, it's very poetic that um, 
Ray is the lifter for SLKR, especially when Ray's lifter is Ben Solo, right? Like, so, I don't know. It's cool. Like, in my opinion, these guys, are, like, they're, they're sort of, you know, they've got the Force Dyad thing, which to me is just like a yin and yang kind of thing. Um, so, this makes sense. I, you know, again, I'm sure Snoke would have been fine too, or, you know, even Admiral Pride or something like that. But all in all, um, this is very, very good. Like this, this looks ri like kind of ridiculous. <laughs> um, but that's just, I think, again, where the game is going. Like some of the stats that like Sabine, which we didn't really talk about, like those are DC level stats that she's going to hand out to people, but they are just the normal stats. and. I think we're going to start to see a really big shift in characters, right? Like there's going to be the, the characters that were released prior to 2024. And then there's going to be like a pretty big leap. And it's like everything that is after that. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, I won't go through the kit reveal, but just know that if you guys don't have SLKR right now and you guys are working forward towards them, you guys got three months officially. You're on the clock. Make sure you guys are red crating conquest this time around because SOKR I think is going to kill everything like it's, it's you're going to be able to kill JMK's uh, beforehand he was always kind of known as the guy that could kill like you know every GL so to speak there were a few that were like hard counters to him um and then yeah like you could always try to re resolve it with like night sisters this to me this kind of like cuts everything else out like I even think there's enough built in here where Ahsoka, we, even though we don't have her kit yet, Ahsoka will eventually get countered by Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. I say eventually because we all know she's going to get like some crazy sick um, uh, Datacron um, and she's going to be unbeatable for the first four months of her tenure in, in Gal Galaxy of Heroes. But I think eventually like there's enough in this kit that I'm like, yeah, that's that's going to be really tough um, to to counteract um, even without having seen Ahsoka's kit. So anyways, guys, looks like we cut off like about 10 minutes from the video. So uh, kudos to myself, I guess. Uh, but yeah, the big thing was I, I just want to make sure you guys had the numbers here. You had the the data to either be mad or be glad uh, on what's happening here. Uh, let me know what you guys' thoughts are, guys. Like I said, I always in appreciate you guys' um, you know, coming out and, and commenting on the videos. You guys are awesome for that. But uh, I guess until the next time, we'll see you guys later.